right, everybody, what's up? Too Tall Toby here, and this is my recording of my tournament run. I'm gonna try to qualify for the upcoming 2025 Spring Open Tournament. Now, in order to qualify for this, you just need a free account at twotalltoby.com. You can use any 3D CAD system. And once you go to the website, twotalltoby.com, and you come in here to the Spring Open Tournament, you can click here to see these three drawings. And as you click on them, they're gonna open in a new tab. And what I do is I typically move these over onto a separate window. So I've got drawing one, drawing two and drawing three. So while I am attempting to speed model this, if you wanna follow along with what I'm doing, just take a look at those free drawings. I'll include a link down in the description to that tournament page. So let's get into it here. I'm gonna to try to, to submit a qualifying time. Hopefully I'll be fast enough to make it into the tournament, but who knows, somebody might beat me. We're only gonna take eight people in this tournament. So if eight people can come up with a faster time than me, well then I'll have to sit this one out. So I'm gonna move this over here to my sidebar here. The clock does need to be showing during this run. And go! So I'm gonna choose create here, create document, and I'll call this one 01. And this is gonna be this document here, the cam bracket. So I'm gonna go here, front plane, begin to sketch, orient my view. And for this first sketch, I'm just gonna create half of the model and do a thin feature extrusion. So we're gonna say this is gonna be 20 by, this one will be 44 minus 9.5, so 34.5. And then what I can do is I can jump into the extrude command and I can say I want this to be thin feature and just pick these two entities here. And so I'm gonna make that a thin feature. Actually, you know what, I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll add a fillet there in the sketch. Let me go back into the sketch and let's add a fillet here. We'll make that fillet, that six millimeter fillet that's in the corner there. I think that'll save me some time because then when I go to extrude as a thin feature, I can include that fillet as part of the thin feature. Yeah, I like that a lot more. So that's gonna be my first feature there, three millimeter wall thickness, and that is gonna come out to a depth of 20, and we are gonna make that symmetric. There we go, that looks good. And then we're gonna go in here, we're gonna create a new uh, sketch feature here for a slot. Now, guys, when you're doing this speed run, you do not need to talk through it. You don't even need to be on camera. You just need to have the clock on the screen and you need to model all the parts without editing the video. So don't feel like just because I'm doing this on camera and kind of talking over it, you have to do that. You do not need to do that. You can just lock in and focus on your speed run. So I'm gonna choose to add this 12 millimeter dimension here. And there we go. Let's turn that into an extrusion. This one's gonna be a solid remove this region right here out to a depth of one millimeter. And let's S key and jump right into our fillet command and that's gonna be six millimeters. And now I think we're pretty much ready to mirror this thing. So I'm gonna pick on the body first and then I'm gonna pick mirror and then I'm gonna press tab and then I'm gonna pick my mirror plane. Little nice workflow there that you can learn to make your mirrors a little bit more efficient. Now I'm going to pick this top surface here and add in those final uh, boss and cut. So 24 and S key extrude. This one is going to go to a depth of 9.5 and we will reverse direction on that one. And then a final cut extrude here. So we'll go S key circle and this one's going to have 12 millimeters. No, 8 millimeters as a diameter and then that's going to be extruded remove and we'll make that one through all punch that hole through that looks pretty much like what we're seeing on the print there the distance from here to here is 46 it's what we want that's the one dimension that i sometimes get tripped up on so we're going to say assign material and let's make this from the ttt library and this is going to be 1060 aluminum. Now, if you've got a script that you can run to auto calculate the uh, the density and the mass, you go for it. You can use that script. So if you're using on shape or if you're using fusion or something like that, it's all good. You just need to show this number here, 23.91. It needs to be really clear and on the screen. And then you can click here when finished with model one to move on to model two. So 23.91 is the correct answer. Now for model two, we're trying to get the answer 1039 nine grams now for each model you need to start new or at least you know in the case of on shape you need to add a new part studio so you can do create new part studio here you don't have to make a new document but you do got to start up a new and then we're going to go here to the uh, let's start out here on the right plane s key begin a sketch this is going to be a sheet metal for me you don't have to do this as sheet metal but it's i think it's a lot easier because it auto adds the fillets in the corners so we're going to make that 40 by 185 
And we could take these two extra lines here and queue, queue them up to make them construction, but you don't even really need to do that. Uh, we're going to exit that sketch, and then we're going to jump into our sheet metal tools. So in our sheet metal tools, we're going to choose extrude. And this is going to be this and this. And then our sheet metal thickness is going to be four, and our bend radius is going to be six. And that's going to be going to the inside. There we go. And that's going to go out to 185. Like I said, you don't have to talk through this when you're doing this, but I, you know, I think that a lot of times people find it a little more interesting when I talk through it. Actually, that should be 175 because I'm going to I'm going to stick that other flange off the side here. So I'm going to pick this side wall here, and then I'm going to say flange, and the flange is six millimeters bend radius and four millimeters wall thickness. So that should account for that extra 10. So I made that first extrusion uh, 175 because now when I go to do this flange here, I'm going to use the option for hold line to bend that flange out and that should give me that extra 10 millimeters. Now remember in a lot of CAD packages along the way, you can kind of check your math. So I'll make this go up to entity and I'll have that, that flange go right up to that point there. So they're the same length. And then I'll click on this face here and then just roll around and click on this face here. And I'll just look down here real quickly and confirm 185. Yes, we are good. So now this face here, begin a sketch. And the nice thing about on shape is when you're cutting away geometry, like this angled shape here, you don't have to create the three sides of the triangle. You can reference the edges from the solid. So I could just type, type in 34 here for the height and type in 45 here for the angle. And that's all I need to do, just that one single line. When I jump into extrude and do remove, I can just click in this region here and then remove that region. So that's pretty sweet in on shape. So this is going to go up to next and we'll hit the green check mark. And now we just need to add in our holes and our slot. So I'll pick this face here, begin a sketch. I like to use rectangles sometimes to locate these holes. So this is going to be 30 by 24 for that first hole. And then I can just take this point of the, the rectangle, make it coincident to that point of the model, kind of save some time. And then I'll add another line that goes down here to that distance of 130. Now, sometimes it is easier to take this geometry and convert it to for construction. So I definitely would encourage you to look for the spots where that's more appropriate or less appropriate. But this is going to be a 12 millimeter hole. And this one is just going to be equal to that one. So I'll just pick that and that and press E. There we go. Those are equal. S key. Extrude. This is going to be a remove again and up to next. This thing's coming together nicely. So I think I'm going to use that kind of same technique with the rectangle to locate the geometry here. So we'll do another rectangle. It's actually very similar dimensions. So this is going to be 24 or no, 20 in that direction and 30 in this direction. And then we're going to take this corner of the rectangle and drop it right on here, right on the corner of the part. And we'll say I. And then we're going to take this uh, other line here and bring this line up to, once again, 130, 130, 130. There we go. And now this geometry is going to be slot. So let me again make this for construction just to make it a little easier to work with here. And then we're going to create some lines. So we'll create a line here like so. And whoops, we don't want that one to be for construction. And then we'll create another line here. Just kind of dropping these lines in wherever and then s key slot and we'll pick this line and this line and then we can double click here on the diameter for the slot and we're going to make that 12. all right now we got some slots there now we can pick this line and this point and shift m for midpoint this line and this point and shift m for midpoint and whoops that one looks a little bit a little bit oversized probably should have sized them first so from arc to arc here is 22 and from arc to arc here is 22. This part's taking a little bit longer, uh, but you know, they're not all they're not all the same parts, so they are gonna take longer. And we are gonna see sheet metal during the tournament. So again, you don't have to make this part sheet metal, but it certainly will help you uh, to get ready for the tournament. So now we're gonna add a corner break feature. This is just a nice way of adding chamfers when you're working in sheet metal. It makes it a little bit easier to make your selections. And in on shape, it saves you having to finalize the model before adding those chamfers. So eight by 45, that looks good. Assign our material here, so assign material. And this material is gonna again come from the TTT custom material. This time it's gonna be plain carbon steel. And again, if you've got a macro or something that helps you solve your materials a little faster, it's all good. 1039 is the correct material. So just over five minutes for that one, a little bit longer. Let's see if we can do this last one a little faster. So this one here, 1 1.379 is the goal for mass that we are going for. So let's see here. Let's make a new document here. 
create document. We'll call this one 03. And we're going to go in and change our workspace units for this one. So make this inches, make this pounds, and front plane, begin a sketch, orient the view. And we're going to create this kind of base shape here. So this one is 3.875. This is what you see in the front view, basically, by 0 0.5. And then we'll create a line here that starts in this lower corner, goes up to 2.5 comes over to 1.125 and comes down at an angle. We'll make another line here that kind of comes across the top just to capture that uh, upper uh, shape and thickness. So that is 0 0.5. And we're going to add an angle dimension here of 68. And so now we're ready to turn this into an extrusion and tab, 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 two, tab, 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 space, enter finishes that extrusion pretty quickly. And now we're gonna show that sketch and then we're gonna create another extrusion. Now here we're gonna press the tilde key to let us pick that region that's on the inside to hold the tilde key and then left click. And this is gonna be a cut extrude to 1.25, 1.25, and that's gonna be a remove and symmetric. So that gives us that little cutaway there on the inside. And that sets us up nicely to pick this face here, begin a sketch and create a kind of rectangular shape. We create a rectangle that just goes from this edge to this edge and say that it has a total length of three inches. And that sets us up to locate that rectangle from this front edge of the part at 0 0.5 inches. And normally I would save my fillets as a feature, but it is a little bit faster in this case to just add them in here. You kind of get slowed down if you're adding these at the feature level. So 0 0.125 for those four fillets there. And that is a beautiful, fully defined sketch ready to be cut extruded. Remember, there's no Ivan exploits allowed during these runs, so you do have to locate all your geometry the correct way. No shortcuts. You got to really, the geometry has to be perfect. So now we're going to go up here to the uh, top face of the model, begin a sketch. We're going to create a line here that comes off of the midpoint, 0 0.5, and we're going to exit that sketch and then use that to locate a hole. So S key hole. See, I'm using the S key a lot. I use the S key a ton in Onshape, such a good time saver. And this is going to be a counter bore that starts right here at that point. And it's going to have a through hole of 0 0.5 called out in the top view here. And tab, tab, tab. And a counter bore of 0 0.75 and a counter bore depth of 0 0.25. Once you have all those features in, that is really looking good. And now all we need to do is add our final fillet features. There's two of them. So I am going to use the shift enter shortcut. So these first fillets here are 0 0.25 called out in the right side view. And then before I finish the command, I'm going to hold shift and then press enter. And that finishes the, man, but the command, but takes me into another fillet command. So now I can add in my 0 0.375 fillets here on the front of the model and hit the green check mark. And this thing's looking good. Kind of a final spin here. I think that looks a lot like the drawing. So we come over here to our materials, assign material. Once again, we're using plain carbon steel here for this one. Plain carbon steel. And we go mass properties, click here, and 1.379 is correct. So we can click here to finish model three and just under 12 minutes. Wow. Good luck to everyone. That is a fast time, just under 12 minutes. I'm pretty happy with that time. So three minutes for the first model or three minutes, 11 seconds, uh, five minutes, 19 seconds for the second model and three minutes, 28 seconds for that third model. Giving me a total time of 11 minutes, 59 seconds, 0. 0.681, just under 12 minutes. I'd like to see someone get a time that is between my time and 12 minutes. That would be very impressive. So, to tell Toby, United States, on shape as my CAD system, I have read, understand, and agree to the tournament rules. Hit the green check mark and submit. And good luck to everyone. Good luck, good luck. I'm going to submit this video. I'm going to add it to my user profile so the video shows up here on the leaderboard. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing everybody's speed runs. It's always so fun to watch these speed runs and validate them. Don't forget the clock needs to be shown the whole time. Don't forget no Ivan exploit. You got to match the geometry perfectly. And make sure that you show the mass on your screen. No editing, no uh, time lapse, no speeding up the clock, nothing like that. Just a raw video of you doing model one, two, and three, just like a speed run. So don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to sign up for a free account at tutaltoby.com. And I'm very much looking forward to this 2025 spring open. See you, everybody.